Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage 1976 Zippo Slim lighter with a really cool two color painted graphic featuring the Atlanta Falcons NFL football team. Slider still has the price sticker attached to it though that price sticker looks like somebody may have tried to peel it off at some point. It's got a little bit of damage to it but I decided to go ahead and leave it. The, the case is 1976, three forward slashes on the left and three forward slashes on the right. This is a high polished chrome lighter and while the flint was a little bit eaten away. It was not turned completely to dust. It actually had not spread any dust or anything around the insert of the lighter. Windscreen, ignition area, whatever you call it. There you can see the flint that came out of it. And the fact that one end of that flint was a little bit oxidized and eaten away. But As you can see, the insert is nice and clean, wick, perfectly white. There are some minor scratches. There may be, it's hard to say on this one, I don't really see any scratches from closing the lid or opening it. There are other scratches there on that windscreen, but I don't see any of those sweeping scratches or scuffs that you typically will see. This lighter though does show other imperfections, scratches, scuffs, surface kind of wear, I don't believe there are any dings, dents, or anything like that. And we are also not going to pull this insert out of the case simply because I don't want to scratch it up any worse than it is. There are other videos out there of this lighter, or at least one other video, the video where we cleared the flint tube, or at least analyzed the disposition of the flint tube in both this lighter and the Miami Dolphins slim lighter that we purchased at the same time. So if you're concerned about the inserts, I will put a card to that video up here in the corner. Make sure you check that out. But the listing photos have already been taken as well and there were multiple photos taken of the insert as well as the case along with the box, paperwork, everything that's included. So the Atlanta Falcons football team came into existence on June 30th of 1965 and played their first game in 1966 according to the Wikipedia article on the Falcons. They were an expansion franchise awarded to Rankin Smith by the NFL, apparently for one reason, because he was about to be approved for a team by the AFL, and they did not want him going to the AFL. Kind of interesting nowadays when you've got other supposed competitors like the XFL and I can't even remember now what the other spring football league is called, but 
Since the USFL, which the USFL was not even that much of a competitor, uh, but we haven't really seen a competitor. I guess uh, not since the USFL, but since the AFL and the NFL merged. But those two leagues really were competitive, and that's how the Super Bowl came about. And this lighter would have been produced about 10 years after the Falcons came into existence. This was a 1976 lighter, which would have, 1976 would have been the 11th NFL season for the Falcons. That is a really cool graphic of the Atlanta Falcon on the side of the helmet. As a kid, I was sort of a satellite Atlanta Falcons fan as there were several Oklahoma Sooners that played for that team or several former Oklahoma Sooners. Ricky Bryan, Scott Case, seems like there were uh, Tony Casillas, maybe another one as well, back in the 80s. So I was aware of the Atlanta Falcons growing up simply because of the connection with those OU players. And the Falcons have been to a couple of Super Bowls. I believe it was uh, back in the 90s and then also about 2016. But up to this point, they have not won one yet. That's a really cool football helmet graphic, though. Doesn't look much like the helmets that are being worn today. And that face mask looks like one that a quarterback or maybe even a punter would have worn back then. But whether or not that helmet looks like helmets look today or not, there is little doubt that when people see that, they will recognize it as a football helmet. And any Atlanta Falcons fan or really just NFL fan who comes across this lighter, there just aren't that many of these out there. I don't know how many of them were produced. I haven't seen any numbers as far as that kind of thing goes. I don't know if they were made for every team. I've seen the Buffalo Bills. I've seen the Pittsburgh Steelers. I've seen most NFL teams, but typically they are not in this kind of condition with the painted graphics still intact. Usually the paint is largely missing. And lighters are a little bit rougher looking and have been used for years and years where this one hasn't been used at all. It's just ready for some NFL fan or Atlanta Falcons fan or maybe you're from the Atlanta area and collect things of local interest. Here's a lighter that you can fuel up with petrol fuel, install a new flint, and you'll have a stylish working new lighter to light up whatever it is you smoke. Until next time.